Getting the most out of the products and services you use every day means asking the right questions. Questions like this. Hi, my name is Ian Alvarez. I'm 24 years old and I've actually been hacked twice. The first time was over email. The second time I got hacked was over social media. One day I get this notification like, oh, you've logged into your account um, from an unknown device. They changed my password so I wasn't able to get in from my phone anymore. It locked me out. It locked me out of my phone. After those two experiences, I've definitely gotten more paranoid, for sure. And it can get really, really, really scary. You notice suspicious behavior in your email or social media account. Someone is sending emails or posting things and they're not from you. Or you may have even gotten an email from a company saying they notice suspicious activity on one of your accounts. You're anxious. You don't know what to do. You've been hacked. Now what? Number one, before you do anything else, change your password. You need a unique password. Try a string of random words in a row that are hard to guess, but you'll remember. If you've used your old password on other accounts, which by the way is never a good idea, change those passwords too. This may be a good time to consider using a password manager, which creates a new password for each of your accounts and fills it in for you. Number two, if it's available, turn on two-factor authentication. How does that work? When you're logging into an account, you'll be sent a verification code via text, email, or app. You have to use that code to get into your account, and you can set that up to happen each time you log in or just when you're logging in from a new device. Then, if the bad guys get your password, it still won't be enough for them to get into your account. Number three, look through your account. If it's your email, check your sent mailbox. Make sure no one's sent any emails from you. If it's a social media account, check your posts and messages. Make sure no one's been impersonating you or trying to scam your family and friends. And speaking of family and friends, you'll want to let them know you've been hacked so they don't fall for said scams. Number four, if you haven't heard from them already, contact the company that operates your account that was hacked. They may be able to do even more to get your digital security under control. Once you follow these steps, you can rest easy knowing that you've taken back control of your digital privacy. But treat this as a wake-up call. The most important thing you can do is keep an eye on your accounts. So if hackers ever make their way back in, you'll be one step ahead of them.